Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the level generator based on the wave function collab tools. So by default, there is a chance you might not see anything. That's no problem. You're going to have that. You're going to have to change that anyway. So here on the side, again, we have our parameters. We have an overall scale. So it might happen that this level is too small. So we can just increase this to the scale you would prefer for your scene. Then here we have the wave function collapsion options. So by default, it's also enabled. And so it might also happen that you maybe don't want to use it. And wave function collapse, if you're not really familiar with it, it basically needs a input image, a low resolution input image, and it will then basically from that image try to replicate certain patterns and so on. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to build an image yourself. So here is an example of what your input image can be. And as you can see, this is also low in resolution. So that's also important that you don't make this into like a 1K texture, but you make this into like a 30 by 30 texture and you just draw only the things you need, like the basic layout of a level. So then from this image, it will then generate this level. So let's enable this back again. Further, so when you plug in a decent image, you will see your results. You can also play here with the size. So let's say I want 40 by 40. You can go really crazy with this and you can just basically generate a huge level. So here's, for example, a really big level that you probably want to just first use a small level. And further again, we have the seed options. So, and then we have some more specific options here that can be useful. What I've also done is, let's say you don't want to use the wave function collapse, but you would still like to block out your level based on basic shapes. So let's go to input. Let's create a cube here. Let's say I want this to be my level, the start of my level, and I want to have a corridor going here. Then this corridor goes to the next room. What we basically do now is blocking out our level with cubes. So I'm going to go here to World Outliner again, start selecting, selecting the cubes, and then use this as my level. So now actually our cubes are controlling the layout of my level. So if I move these cubes around, you will see that it will then create that space there. So I can either use the wave function collapse or you can just manually place quickly cubes and then it will solve a level for you. But we can also do both of two worlds and we can just combine this by enabling the wave function collapse. So what we can do is we can generate a level with the wave function and I can manually override with the cubes here what my level should look like. So if I would have a specific boss room over here, I can just place a cube there and it will then automatically solve that there. So it's a really flexible way of working and creating a level. Then further here, we have also a building scatterer. So in here, we have the method random now. We can also say grid-like. So it will follow a more grid structure. We can play around here with the density. So there's more spacing. We also have random rotation, scaling, and also a remove tolerance. Then finally, we have here an instance. So I'm going to set this to Unreal. And now what is being created is a lot of options here to add models. So one thing that I've not mentioned is this is actually working on a tile set. So you will need to make a tile set. You will find these models as well in the project files. So what we're basically going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop this into the right number. So I have 1, 5, 7, 17, 21. These might seem random numbers, but they actually are calculated in a specific way. But just assign the right number will do fine. It might also be possible that you have to here scale your models down. So I have built in here a scaler. So because I've imported my models probably too big. So I've also added a scaler here. And as you can see, now we have a level with this basic geometry on the style set. So you can just open this tiles in any software you want. So you can just open this in Blender, Maya, Max, and you can start building on top of these to build your own 
level for like a dungeon or cave or a building. And then Houdini will then automatically solve this and place this next to each other. So here everything is assigned and we have then the final level. So this was the level generator with wave function collapse.